Hi there, I'm Joshua Finn from J&H Aerospace, and this is the Dawn Patrol. This is the largest outdoor model I have built that's rubber powered. Um, it's slightly smaller by wing area than my largest indoor model, uh, but by span and length it is the largest thing, yeah, uh, 26 inch propeller. Check out that monster. And the airframe weighs less than 100 grams without the rubber motor on board. In fact, the rubber motor weighs slightly more than the, the airplane. So this is a design by Bud Romack, who is, I believe, 94 years old or coming up on his 94th birthday, somewhere in that range. And he has been flying Dawn Patrols of various versions for, I guess, the past 15 years. They are designed for the AMA Dawn Unlimited class, which is quite simply a competition class for rubber-powered models with no rules other than heavier-than-air, free-flight, rubber-powered, has to be cantilevered, uh, no wire bracing, and the rubber motor has to be inside the airplane. Other than that, wide open. So you end up with beasts like this, and believe it or not, this isn't the largest by any means. But what you're going to see now is us doing some flying with it, a uh, little bit of basic trimming. So uh, there's not going to be much commentary on that. But what I can tell you is the adjustments that we made after we got the glide going is that I added some down thrust to get rid of the stall under power. I added some right thrust to get the pattern to tighten up. That wasn't to deal with the, with the uh, control of the flight. It was purely to tighten up the turn because the airplane was turning so wide. And then I added a little bit of right rudder just to tighten up the glide uh, because it was taking a, literally about a mile turning radius until we um, added some right rudder. So there is a short kit and plans that are for sale on our website. Uh, the front end assembly is not included. For anybody that's asking, front end assemblies are not part of short kits. You can get a suitable front end assembly through ValerProducts.com. I'll include a link in the description below. And it will not be as light as this one, but it'll be light enough for most of you. Because most of you are not going to want a super, super light one like this. This is borderline ridiculous. Apologies for the uh, birds. Anyway, uh, the short kit includes all your cross pieces, ribs, shear webs, all the sheet balsa parts like the pylon and whatnot. And you supply longerons, wing spars, stab spars, etc. Um, and covering, hardware, and so on. So it makes it a lot easier to get the airplane built. Uh, also in that, because of the nature of that, I basically supply all of the super light contest grade wood and everything that you supply is actually heavier grade balsa. So your trailing edges, you want to be fairly light, so you'll have to search those out. But everything else can be fairly heavy wood um, to make the airplane uh, more durable and makes it uh, very simple. We've, we've done the, the hard part for you. So anyway, enjoy some flight footage of the monstrosity that this is, and uh, I think y'all will like this one. All right, first test glide ever. Who knows what it's going to do. All right, that's pretty awesome. Oh, wow. Nice. First test glide ever. Alright, Dawn Patrol 2, first ever powered flight. Make sure the timer's going. Yes, it is. Kept looking back, like, okay. Ready, 
Logan. I am ready when you are, Josh. Yeah. This is going to be fun. It's not going to be super long. It's going to be even shorter. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, this is my tail. Now, was that timer running all the time that this thing was flying? Yeah. So you saw it belly flop at the end? Yeah. That was that going off. Yeah. So what happens is... Tick, 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 tick. Almost there. And... Yeah, I think you've got a video of this, see? don't you? Yes. Yeah, that, I think I So saw. if you set up a trigger so that this is locked by your launch rod, you can use it on a boost glider. And... Goodness, the thermalizer went with all that nonsense. Long enough that we'll get to see a brief glide. Oh yeah, it sure did. Props getting to fold any time now. And there it goes. Oh yeah. Still going. Still going. Down. Yeah. Love how low the RPMs are. This is where we start worrying. Well, you minute and a half. Right? What do you do? About a minute right now? Yeah, right out a minute right now. And there we go. Nice. Nicely on time. It doesn't even nose over, does it? Not with that big of a tail. Wow. Stays nose high all the way down. <laughs> Maximum. Yep, he's going to get Daddy's airplane.
I just gotta get my hand out of the way. There we go. One second. Not to worry. The blade's on the Alright. Go, baby. Looks good, Josh. Here you go, girl. Oh, it's gonna go. Right. So how many? Oh, what? look at that view. That's sharp. <laughs> I'd get a picture, but I can't. I'm afraid to switch off. I wouldn't take your eyes off. It. No, I'm not. <laughs> Somebody could email you that. <laughs> that looks pretty darn good. Josh, you counting RPMs? Good luck, guys. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.